Welcome back to Scary Animal Attacks. When most of us think of apex predators, we think of a swift, athletic animal that will run you down with blinding speed. Or, we think of giant paws tipped with razor-sharp claws perfectly suited to cut you to pieces as the beast slurps your flesh and blood. What would you think if I told you that today's animal attack features an animal that you could easily outrun and can't swat you with its claws at all? Today's episode takes us to the Rothera Research Station in the Antarctic Peninsula. The area is a solid ice sheet resting over a huge rock shelf and features such attractive traits as sub-freezing temperatures nearly year-round as well as featureless snowscapes that is nearly impossible to navigate without special equipment. Kirsty Brown was a 28-year-old marine biologist who was helping out the British Antarctic Survey on July 22, 2003. She was a trained and educated geologist and oceanographer, and had worked as a researcher as well as a diver in projects in Greenland and Australia. She was very smart. While stationed at Rothera, Kirsty was researching the effects of iceberg disturbances on plant and animal communities along the Antarctic seabed. She had been on this project for nearly a year, and was just finishing up her initial phase, which involved placing several hundred markers to measure iceberg gouging on the seabed. Her co-workers enjoyed her enthusiasm and energy. Kirsty provided a great work ethic and dealt with the mundane aspects of scientific research with a smile and a laugh. Workers at this station are only allowed ingress and egress seasonally as it is too cold and unpredictable to fly in or out and the seas are frozen much of the year. The procedures and rules of the research team help keep them safe. As diving into the frigid depths is part of the research, the general rule is that nobody dives if a leopard seal is spotted in the area. Now, leopard seals are not known to be directly aggressive toward people, but it is better to be safe than sorry when the animal you might have a problem with can weigh over a thousand pounds and can stretch to over 12 feet long. This policy had ensured the scientists' safety as well as the leopard seals for over 30 years so far and seemed very reliable. Leopard seals are sort of like the polar bear of the Antarctic. They are single hunters of the waters that target penguins of all types, crab eater and fur seals, as well as small or vulnerable Weddell, Ross, and southern elephant seals. As an added supplement to their diets, their teeth are serrated, allowing them to be used like a filter to sift krill from the seawater. Leopard seals are known for sinking their massive canine teeth into a penguin and thrashing back and forth, until the bird's skin and feathers are torn loose so they can be devoured easily. Researching leopard seals has been likened to researching any other large predator that operates in solitude. Being spread out and alone is the key to their success, so any interruption to their norm and they simply move out of the research area. Kirsty had just a bit more research to do the day in question. She was snorkeling approximately 25 yards from the shore with a research colleague of hers. The divers had followed safety protocol and made sure there was no leopard seals in the area before starting their research. Somehow, a solitary leopard seal had slipped their sight and was lurking near their research locale. As Christy was getting ready to dive again, her partner noticed a dark shape speeding toward them from a nearby rock shelf. It was very large and traveled very fast through the water. Kirsty was not too concerned as seals were a frequent visitor on the research site, but there was something different about this seal. It seemed to be curious and much larger than a normal seal. Kirsty and her research partner discerned it to be a large leopard seal. These animals are known to be somewhat aggressive with people and will approach without hesitation out of curiosity or perhaps competition. The seal circled Kirsty at first and then bit into her lower leg. Kirsty screamed in pain and began to kick and fight to get away. Her screams alerted the other dive team on the shore and they immediately began to prep their boat to help. The seal's sharp teeth were then driven into her leg again and Kirsty was pulled underwater. As she was pulled deeper and deeper, the seal would release Kirsty and she would start to float toward the surface only to have the seal clamp its huge canines into her again and pull her even further down. This process happened over and over at least 20 times. Each time the seal would sink its teeth into Kirsty's flesh, it would open up gashes and tears in her flesh causing searing pain and horror as she kicked against the assault on her survival. The leopard seal was attacking over and over again, preventing Kirsty from swimming toward the surface and breathing. It continually pulled her lower until they reached a depth of around 70 meters, or 230 feet. It seemed to have a maniacal, tormenting look on its face as it tortured her. Maybe it was unaware of the pain and suffering it was inflicting, but maybe it was fully aware. The rescue team took about 10 minutes to arrive at the attack scene, find Kirsty's body, and pull it from the icy waters. 
The rescue team pulled her aboard and sped their way to Dr. Brown, back at the research station. The medics worked on resuscitating Kirsty for around an hour before they finally acknowledged their beloved co-worker had died. She had suffered 45 separate lacerations, amongst numerous other bruises and bumps during the attack. The leopard seal held her underwater for approximately six minutes before releasing her to be recovered and did not consume any portion of her body. The coroner ruled that Kirsty died from accidental drowning. The leopard seals have not been involved in any other fatalities. They have been involved in a few other attacks on humans. The three scenarios that researchers consider factors in these attacks are confusion for prey, territorial defense or surprise, and the final possibility is a predatory attack. Contact between leopard seals and humans are increasing as humans study and travel to the Antarctic more frequently.